Welcome to Gran Turismo 7 and we have the two different news. The bad news, we gotta do the bad news first. The bad news is, the sad news for you guys, Gran Turismo Sports Online Service will end in the, on the January 2024, which means the end of, on the next year. And also, the purchasable item on, on PlayStation Store of the Gran Turismo Sports will end on the 1st of December. That, that was a... But bad news for you guys, as you heard the news on the online now, you know, you got it. But the good news is, we the Gran Turismo 7 have a new car, three new cars actually, and one, and two of them is the extra a uh, menu on it, and I was I was looking forward for for the new car as well. Well, actually, not just three, three was was the new car. Then two of them was, was last month, and uh, well, actually on. The, uh, uh, the August one, which is available now, which is a one thing I want to do is somehow. Well, I got it later because I do the GR Corolla uh, already. Speaking about the la last week update, I just, uh, as you know, I'm on, on the hospital because I got medical treatment. Uh, sorry, I okay, I will I'll get well as soon as possible. Well, uh, I already discharged, but yeah, thank you so much for the heart one in message for on the YouTube somehow well someone then but this time we're gonna do an Eddie a Honda a section the Honda yes the Honda Honda the power of dreams <laughs> well my dad my dad also have have on Honda back in the day with well the old 1980s Honda Civic and so we do the no we as you know we have two Civic Type R which is a UK I mean in Britain Swindon actually one of them is this one and one of the and the FK8, the FK2 and FKA. I want to look forward to FD2 comeback, but since the, the new Hondas came out, they bring one of these things, the newest version of Honda Civic Type R. This is the brand new Honda Civic Type R, which is a, this car is launched last year for a good reason. And one thing about this car, it's still manual gearbox. How cool is that? I love manual gearbox because I love driving manual gearbox uh, in real life <laughs> yeah it was oh, this is a car I'm looking forward for a some of in the game actually and one of them is the car itself it's pretty much cool as well as a as a traditional type R it's have a manual gearbox yeah w uh, mostly have a manual gearbox the Civic, Civic type R F EK9 the F FN2s the FDs and FD2 Who's the EP3, the FK2, FA8? All, all the Civic Type R mostly have manual gearbox. Yeah, mostly manual gearbox. So this car have two has two liter K20 C1 turbocharged inline four engine, which is an identical engine as the previous type, previous generation Type R, or as well. It's 325 horsepower and one. I'm blowing 419 newton meters of torque. Weighs about 1430 kilograms. One thing about this car, and it still has uh, cent center centers on exhaust, center center exit exhaust, three of them actually. And one about this thing, the new Civic is pretty much cool, but the, the Type R version is more attractive to me and also cooler. And one thing about this car, it's pretty much cool. It has five doors. It will we'll find your hatchback. I, I should say about it. <laughs> so the car, this car, I literally want on it as well. So if people are gonna think, how many colors is it? It's five of them actually. It it cost this. Uh, the color that came ha uh, the champion white, which is type, uh, mostly type up all fanboys know the champion white is the the Honda Honda's signature color for type R. Sonic gray, pearl, crystal black, pearl. Racing blue, pearl, and flame red. Oh yeah, if you watch the, hey, uh, if you watch Shoppy Iman's video, you you should, should you should watch that video. He was, I was entertaining as well. He he watching it. He played the game. So well. he liked it. That car, I think he liked that car. But instead, I I liked it as well. Uh, you know what I mean. So the, all of these cars have. Have one, uh, five, five colors. So people are gonna think, I g am I gonna put it blue? I, I not gonna. I, I like blue as well. So we're gonna pick it up white. And it cost this car 
50,000. 50,000 for a Honda Civic Type R is the same price as, as the Impreza, Bob, Blob Eye Impreza. And in real life, this car cost in UK 47,000 pounds. And in Malaysia, this car launched last week is 399,900 ringgit. Le legit. It was it was legit price. Actually, if you've seen the Honda Civic Type R, R launched last week, you got it. It's 400 grand for this car. You know what? I want it so hard because I like this car. And look at how cool is it with the champion white. Yes, look at that. The Civic boy. Uh, yeah, boy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, boy. Am I watching Yeah, boy, call me in again? I, I, I didn't watch Yeah, yeah boy, call me. I mean, I was, was a big fan of the, the opening music as well. Yeah, it, it was the the new Civic Type R is pretty much aggressive as well. People said the home, the home course or the he Honda was Suzuka Circuit. Uh, yeah, yes, it was Suzuka Circuit. The, the main course of, on, on the uh, this one for Hon Hondas, and also a couple of weeks ago, about two weeks ago, I think the uh, Formula One on host hit as well. Yeah, you may know. I wish Monte. I wish uh, res the all of the Montegi on the comeback in this game. I wish his the Montegi he race track comeback have a comeback. So let's get started anyway. But uh, I gotta do the Suzuka first. Uh, that's why.
So this car has a lot of modern stuff in, in it, like uh, Apple, uh, Apple and Android car uh, play connectivity stuff, including in USBs, a digital dash, and, and bunch of stuff in it here. But the Civic Type R only came with a manual gearbox. That's that was cool, cool features on it, and also they have a, in the red head seat. The type it has a Type R. On it, and the one thing about the Type R, the newest Honda Civic Type R, it has a has, has DNA of the racing, and still has a, a yeah, they have a Type R. If you, oh yeah, if you don't, if I uh, missed it already, this car has the 419 Nm of torque and 1430 kilograms of weight. If I missed it, yeah, but quite a lot. On when I review this car, <laughs> well, it does, and. And 490 newton meters of torque for four cylinder engine with 300 plus horsepower. 325 horsepower on the, the newer Type R is pretty much acceptable for today's standard for sports car. And an affordable hatchback. One thing, it, it costs 47,000 pounds on it. And one, and secondly, in Malaysia, it costs 399,900 for one of these things. And what most of the people. Well, buy it for with the champion white. <laughs> yeah, and you can get it for the reconditioned if you want. And they have the Civic Type R. And in in Japan also, well, Civic Type R also popular over there uh, right now. Well, it is. It's still uh, the best looking sports car, best looking in fight or hatch hatchback, including the GR Corolla, GR Yaris, which is a two door or three door uh, hatchback. Uh. The current day Hyundai, I, I, what's it, the, the new, the hot hatch one. Oh yeah, the Hyundai i30, the, the hot hatch one, and people know this. And because this one, the Civic Type R, people love it because this car is made in Japan now, not from Swindon and the Great Britain. And it, it was, it, it, made, it made in Japan now, yeah. <laughs> How long, I gotta say, if because of the, this car is pretty much... Was more cooler than the previous generation. It was, it was actually, and it is. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to see more, more Gran Turismo 7, be sure smash a like, like, subscribe if you're new, follow me Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Hoyo Lab. The link in the description box below if you want to see that. And if you want to watch Shafi Iman's video of the Honda Civic Type R, you can check out on the the description box. You, and mostly I already popped up already so uh, and see you guys soon assalamualaikum and goodbye